uh, I'm so excited because this, you know, we were just talking about the simplest things sometimes are the ones that everybody wants to try at home. And so let me tell you what happened teaching this to a group of third graders. <laughs> and uh, because I thought w what was going to happen didn't happen at all. Here's the whole idea. Uh, many times people will just use Coke and Diet Coke to do this, but it, it destroys the uh, the wonder, right? Mm. So I got a whole bunch of these cans. So take a look at all the different okay. brands that are here. Root beer, lemonade. I lied to the kids and I told them that uh, it was something that had exploded in the car. So what they needed to do <laughs> was to put it in the bucket of water, so they didn't have anything fancy. Okay. And then by putting it in the bucket of water, they would come up with this realization. So here, watch this. Ready? So drop the uh, the can of, of uh, Coke in there. <gasps> no problem at all. It's just like what mom and dad used to do. They used yep. to throw the can in does the Does it still summertime. clean pennies? See, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it does still clean <laughs> yeah. pennies. So look at this. See how yeah, they go? They float to the bottom just like they would nice. the pool. And this one, uh, more? It, more? Go, it doesn't float to the bottom. No. It sinks to the bottom. It, oops, this one. I here. knew Hold what on you a meant. Second. Hold on, hold on. Okay, wait just a second. This one is supposed to maybe the and see here's what I wanted to do. I wanted these kids to look at this and go, oh my gosh, Mr. Spangler, would you look at this? And we're gonna classify now. Mm -hmm. Some are sinking, some are floating, and oh. this is the reason why. But I walked around the room and they're like nothing. And it's just like, uh, guys, do you, do you notice anything? Is, mm -hmm. is there anything cool here? And they're like, yeah, they're kind of dirty. And they go, no, they're not dirty. I, did you notice anything? Look, these are, are floating. Yeah. And a little girl looks at me and she goes, oh, I know why. And I thought, well, this will be great. She'll tell her. She goes, because uh, this one's got less than everything else. You kind of get gypped a little bit. So oh. yeah, yeah. And you know, I didn't look at this. This is exactly the same. This is 355 milliliters. Uh -huh. And this is 355 milliliters. The volume is the same, yet okay. one floats and one sinks. Kathy, what is the difference in the cans? It's got to be the sugar content. If you take a look at the outside. sugar has Look at this. You got it. Take a look at this. How much sugar is sitting in that one? This says. Does it say zero? Oh, we'll take a look right there. What uh, does it say? <gasps> zero. Would yeah. you look at that? Zero. And in how many grams glasses. of sugar here? Thirty-nine grams. Whoa. So now wait just a second. We're Americans. We don't have a clue what thirty-nine grams means, right? So if you took everybody out there, this has forty-one grams. Okay. Look at this. Uh, this A and W. This is <gasps> forty-seven grams. What? So let me give you some sort of comparison. Ready? Okay. How much sugar is in that can of soda? And in terms of packets of sugar. So go ahead and hold out your hand. Okay. Now you tell me stop. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with one, two, three, how about three of them? So you tell me when to stop. Four, five, six. I know it's bad. No, it's okay. Now get ready. Seven, how about eight, nine, ten? You wanna stop? Uh, let's do 12. Uh, 11, 12, I'll give you a couple more. 13, what? 14, keep going. 15, in one 16, can? keep going. 17, about 18 packets of sugar in, in this one can? can of soda. No, now, that explains my seven-year-old. <laughs> so this is called density, right? And so absolutely amazing to me that there's that much sugar. And so here I am trying to get the kids to do this classification, and I wanted them to see that there's that much sugar. And well, that's this one Well, hopefully the moms here. are paying attention to <laughs> Look at how this sinks. I mean, this thing feels like a rock right there, and it's done. Watch this one. This is a, a, a bigger can here. It still floats. What about lemonade? It's, it's, oh, try the lemonade. Would you look at this? Whoa. There, there's that floating and sinking challenge. So I want you to see how much sugar, about 18 packs. <laughs> Packets in a regular That's one, so shocking. no wonder these will sink and the other ones will float along the way. Isn't that kind of fun? Yeah. And the last little thing I've got to feature is this. Hold under this. Ready? Okay. Hold under this. Yeah. Shake up the can. Oh, do I? Good. You shake it. You're not supposed to open it. Give it a shake. Here, you take mine. You're a sissy. All right. Okay. So here we go. So now watch this. Mm -hmm. You can open the can. Watch. Come here. You can open the can. Snap the can on the sides. Snap them. You're going to send all the bubbles to the top. That's our little secret for the day. Don't Are you ready? You. Don't no. tap the top. It doesn't do anything. Oh. Snap the sides. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Pop it open. Oh, wow. <gasps> and the crowd. Look at this goes wild with excitement. Now you Not know that sound. Only. That reminds Kyle Clark of craft beer. <laughs> and this is or this is the lightest craft bottle. beer Kyle has ever seen right there. <laughs> so not only did you learn float and sink and sugar, but you got yourself a, a, a little trick that you can do at the holidays. Cheers. Cheers. Kyle and Kimberly, <laughs> <laughs>